Hi guys, today I thought I'd show you what I use for popping bubbles in my paint. And I use the same thing for resin as well. It's one of these disposable things. Self-igniting. Works great. So I use that for resin and I also use it for popping paint. Now on bigger stuff, I use obviously bigger um, butane torches. I only use a heat gun if I'm going to do a resin cutting board or something like that where I want to flow colours around. Um, using it for acrylic paints, it tends to move your pattern around, which I really don't like. Whereas the little butane torch, any bubbles you've got, light blow over. Now, your distance needs to be, you know, maybe two, three inches away. That'll pop your bubbles. And if you hold it in one place too long, you're going to get a skin on your paint, which you don't want. So it's really quick couple inches away quick blow over and that's it any more than that you're going to cook the paint and it's not going to move for you it'll have like a skin over the top same goes when you're using resins if you hold it a couple of inches away three maybe four inches it still pops the bubbles no problem at all but you're not cooking the resin and realistically these little things are safe as houses you know it's not going to burst into flames and catch fire and do all sorts of crazy things really safe when used correctly now then what i've done is purposely mixed a whole heap of bubbles up into the paint as you can see there are little bubbles everywhere so what I'm going to do is just use the little torch again a couple of inches away and you'll see all the bubbles disappear and that's all it takes one tiny little zap over all your bubbles are gone Like that, bang, done. That's quick, easy. It's not going to scorch the paint because you're too far away from it. It's really quick, it's safe if you use it correctly. Now, obviously, don't grab hold of the hot end, it will burn you. Um, now, I'll show you why. I don't like using a heat gun to pop the bubbles. Okay, it's going to get a bit noisy. So if I turn the power point on, that's going to help. Okay, I don't want that pattern to move around too much before I swipe it. Now, if I'm going to pop bubbles with it, this is what happens. See, everything's moving around. That's not what I want. That's the reason I use a little butane torch. You can still pop the bubbles and don't move the paint. Whereas with a heat gun, it moves your paint. So if that was resin and you wanted to do like a, a beach type scene, perfect for it because it softens the resin up, lets it blow, lets it flow. It mixes all the colours together really cool. You can do all your little waves and things like that by blowing in your white over the top with some alcohol in it. But for acrylic pouring, that's the result you get. Which isn't real good. So, I recommended a little butane torch. 
You can buy disposable ones, you can buy refillable ones. Um, during this video, I'll be popping up different types that I use. So you'll be able to see those. And in the description, I'll link a couple of, you know, different little butane torches. But yeah, that's why I use those for paint pouring rather than a heat gun. Okay. All right, till the next one. See you later.